So I agree with you because we both agree the way a mall today is as a transactional center is not going to work and it will evolve and retail has evolved through all time, right? It's all thing, different things. The thing that I'm most fascinated by is how top heavy do the experiences become? So Nike, I know for a fact, is not super interested in, be, in driving your overall experience. They're starting to look at locations in the US. Their entire US retail strategy is no more malls, standalone Nike. We're fucking Nike. People are coming to this mall because of us. It's part of their strategy. That's just 100%. That's not my opinion. That's 100%. Now the question becomes, how does that play out? Over time, how does that play out? Because what you're saying is, you're 100% right. We are all gonna experience, right? The question will become, Will the top 50 brands in the world that will have 80% of the leverage want to keep paying you an arbitrage when they are the absolute driver of that experience? That to me is a far more interesting question, right? Because when it becomes too top heavy, which it will, the question will become what does it actually look like? Because malls are great, but there's a lot of land out there. And to pay you a VIG for something that I'm actually driving and then I'm arbing to other competitive products as people start competing with each other in multiple categories becomes very fascinating. Because not only does Nike have this, but it's very intriguing that Starbucks has opened its first 10 standalone stores this year. This is an arb game always, and so I understand why you would like it to be that way, because that's the business you're in, the same way I want things to be, the way I want them to be for my business. I think the fun debate, if we're really having this battle, is when it tips, to a small group of having the leverage, it's no different than why Amazon is now private labeling every category. It got big enough in the US market to have enough data to now compete with their own partners. And so malls are not competing with e-commerce. Malls are competing with the seven players that represent 80% of the experiences in 15 years saying themselves, I'm not overpaying you guys for that so I can support the other 10 cockamanian characters in this room when everybody's coming for me.